Okay guys, I looked around online to try to figure out how to use one of these coffee presses, things, sort of things. But to be honest with you, there is no science to it. No. No, it doesn't matter what kind of coffee you use. Well, it does matter how you like your coffee to taste. But one of the simplest ways that I have found to make coffee in a coffee press is to do this. One thing I do is I start out with filtered water. Because let's face it, it makes your coffee come out a lot smoother. <laughs> then another thing I do is I take that filtered water and I fill it up to roughly about here. A little over what a little over three quarters, two thirds full. And that roughly comes out to four cups. Four cups being eight ounces a piece. Then what I do is I heat up the water. It's just that simple. Now, if you got one of those fancy water heater thingies, use it. I got one at work, love it. But in this instance, I'm using the microwave. Once that heats up, we'll pour it in. Now, while that's going on, with four cups, what I'm going to do is use two tablespoons, that's right, tablespoons of coffee grounds. It's just that easy. People talk about times and amounts and stuff like that. We're just making coffee. Although darn good coffee I might add so we got our coffee grounds in there we got our water going we got a minute left I'll bring you back and show you the magic all right now once your water's heated up get out of the microwave or the heater thing that you're using it's not that difficult you take it and you put it into your press okay so that's going to make us about four cups and what some people like to do is to stir it up but it did get stirred up while I was pouring in the water but you know what to entertain you guys I'll tell you what I'm gonna stir it up All right. Then what I like to do is to orient the little pour spout on there. Set that on, get her ready to go. Set it. And then roughly two, two, two to three minutes. Meanwhile, you can get your favorite creamer ready. I happen to like the silk almond. And you let it steep. For two okay, minutes. we've let it steep for two to three minutes-ish. There's no exact science to this stuff, people. If you're looking into that, if you're that analytic, you came to the wrong place. So then what you do is you press down slowly, slowly, making sure the grounds are going down. And look how it changes colors. How it's light at the bottom and dark at the top. It's kind of what you're looking for. And then it's just this easy. You take it, you have your favorite creamer in the bottom because I don't like the stir. Put it in your favorite mug. And enjoy it's just that easy come on people think this is rocket science next time I'm gonna show you how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich